Praise God, folks. How are you? This is Old Truth Speaker. With a short vid, this saying, um, belated happy birthday to Dr. King. But I like to say, well, the name of this one is, Dr. King hated violence, but today's blacks love it. Let me ask you something. You know, on all the marches that Dr. King was involved in and, and orchestrated and took part in, he he detested he 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 just he hated violence and i commend all of his work you know he he accomplished a lot but i like to ask you a question all of african americans all the blacks and negroes whatever you want to call ourselves all of them everybody claimed to love dr king but nobody listens to anything he said do you know that the number one killer of blacks between the ages of 18 and 34 are the blacks 93 percent of every african-american is killed by another african-american he also marched for uh, income equality yet in 1865 when lincoln freed the slaves after the civil war well after the civil war four million freed african-americans well all of them were free with four million roughly on less than one half or one percent here we are over 150 years later 40 almost 45 million of us and we own still less than one half of one percent we don't own a thing we don't own a toilet paper factory we've actually regressed and one of the greater things i've heard scholars say and i actually uh, i i agree with i agree with dr manny uh david carroll the intellectual juggernaut and many others who say our biggest downfall was when we integrated we should have been marching to 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 pursue our own economic goals. See, up until that point of Dr. King's assassination, we were, we had our own stores, restaurants, and doctors. As soon as we integrated, we have less than nothing. We don't have anything. All we're doing is lining up in the privatized prisons and getting killed. Our young are getting killed. And just like that, Dr. King's monument in Washington. Google it and see how many African Americans since everybody claimed to love them so much, how many contributed to it? You know, when they unveiled it, it wasn't even a, it wasn't even an African American who sculpted it. That was a Japanese guy. Come on now. All we doing is just making ourselves look like fools and miscreants in front of all these other people that just came, immigrants that just came over here. I'll put it this way: for everybody, all us African Americans who claim to love Dr. King so much, we sure got one hell of a way of showing it. But I'll say this, we need God now or we're not going to survive. Dr. Manning said we, we're marching, and I'm not a racist by any means. He said we're marching and, and standing up for, for some of us for Hispanics. And he said, he made a statement, they're going to be, we're going to be paying them rent and they're going to be signing our paychecks because they're coming over and so are other immigrants. They're feeding us and they're clothing us. What do I mean? They're selling us food and clothes. And in most cases, they're our doctors. We don't have a thing and been here over 500 years. But the first thing we want to do is blame the white man. No, we need God in our lives. We got to stop killing each other like this, man. You should hear what they're saying about us all over the world, calling us monkeys and chimps. But well, nobody in my family is no monkey. I had people in December 7th, 1941, was at the Battle of Pearl Harbor, all fought in the South Pacific, all over, all over Europe in World War II. So I'll say any dog won't think I want to. All I'm saying is since we got the prayer now, we have to pray like never before. Christ is soon to come. And we don't have, we have to stop this and put, tell our young to put these guns down and drugs and pick up your Bible and your books and get back in school. Else we're not going to survive. We're dying like flies and we're murdering and killing each other and we don't own anything. Not a toilet paper factory. We need God and we need God in our lives. Now, pray saints, pray for our people. God bless.